getting close to the front of the train. I suppose that makes sense, but you have been going for two hours. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? I see you've made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. Appointment? Who wants to meet with them? Well, Grayson, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Grayson. Another one of these hands. It's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no. Well, I'll give it a shot. A robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five? Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you... I can give you a high five. Ah, oh, sweet. Hell yeah. Alright, so could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or what if someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. Alright, fine. Alright, watch it, bro. <laughs> All this dust. You opened the door too fast. It flew everywhere. Hmm? Hail, do you see this? A pull string. Grayson. What? It's got to activate something. What the... The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. We're here again. Okay, this puts into question everything we know. <laughs> Actually, wait, does it? It was full of dust, so... Sense the reason that might not have been used for a long time. This is a library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Quick, back through the passage before they, before they spot us. We need to add that to our inventory. In passage, add to your inventory. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear sharing is scaring. No way! Journalist reporter Andy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. So curious what it is. You seem confident. We'll hold you to it. I take your order. Not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities, I respect that. It just makes sense. Chow band. Hey, it's the big chow band. Play us a ditty. They don't miss. Those Chow understand music. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. You know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. Grayson, we certainly will not. Take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. Coffee on the train. There's no better combination. The marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. Took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. Let's see, computer. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. It is. Shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. 
I feel like if you're using a computer here, you must really need to use it. Printer. Jeez, the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic rowing a boat or singing a song. Ah, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user inter interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. <laughs> and here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this on back on the printer. No, take it with you. Hmm. A key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. Oh, uh, that's why he has something to do with, do with doors, because he's supposed to be a locksmith. Interesting there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring is out of your inventory. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. These windows are huge, what a view. I didn't realize this train would drive all along the coast. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Up oh, there's Big. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murderer lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air, I just thought the same thing. Presenting Big Chow Man. Take a beat. Visit Music Planet Zone. Let's see, what else is there to look at besides the door? Trash bin! Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Grayson, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in a trash bin, Grayson? There's always something in the trash bin. <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. Please tell me there's something there this time, that would be so funny. What's this? Ha 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 I'm gonna print out the front page of a ticket website. For the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are you sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you try check the trash bin. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. After I check the exit. Okay, so it really is just curtains. There's no door behind it or anything like that. Better get back to the investigation, yeah. Nothing else to check out, so... How's it going, Shadow? Shadow, we have a question for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone in this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Eh, time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. Alrighty. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Do you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others. So one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. But he's in the dining room. Reckless speculation. Logic down though? Why was Sonic Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this trail of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Grayson and I can explain the car change, however. Grayson? What evidence do we have that shows that Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Hmm.
Well, this one is in this room. Are, are we to assume this means that there are multiple uh, secret passageways? Also, the idea of a secret passageway on a train that leads from here to here would imply that there's just like a narrow like passage on the side of the train. <laughs> Unless it's like a portal or something. I don't know, I'd buy it with the series. That does bring into question how we're able to get from car to car if there's like a passageway on the side, but yeah, whatever. So wait. So, either one of these feels like a stretch to me. Like, perhaps after Shadow stopped blocking everything, he was able to... Sonic was able to get, get to the keys and then go through the doors, but that'd be weird. And also, this hidden passage is in this room. And if we're presenting this as evidence, it would suggest that perhaps there are more hidden passageways on the train. Yeah, I feel like this is our best bet. Get my thoughts in order. Grayson and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Grayson. Hmm. This adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? Yeah, if you do that, the game has to end. Either you're right or you're wrong. I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha, huh, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, we have an idea for Espio, and Vector was probably in... you know, the arcade or something. Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Grayson, do you have any guesses? Oh? Well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Oh, which do I say? These are both true. Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table of reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like, I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. I mean, it's either Shadow or Espio. I really do think that. I can't completely discount it being Espio because of the invisibility. It is entirely possible that he wasn't reading. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if, why would Locksmith be giving away his keys? They did give one to, I believe it was Rouge, and also definitely Knuckles. Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. I love motorcycles and how loud they are. 
So obnoxious. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Grace and I can further validate Shadow's claims. Will you do what? Grayson, what happens to support Shadow's claim that he's giving keys away? Well, the fact that there's so few keys on the key ring. Obviously, he would have more if, you know, this were actually the set of keys for the train. So he must have been giving them away. What are the last two keys for, though? One must be to the conductor's car. And one must be for, uh, the library car. Because he couldn't find Espio. That was good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Alright. Really gotta break out the skill for this one. getting tighter and tighter. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Tespio and Vector. Wait. Two oh right, there's no door between the conductor. Oh right. Yeah, when they're talking about uh, Shadow trying to lock Sonic in the conductor's like area, they just mean that room and this room because you can move freely between them, I guess. No way! Well, one of his own key. Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. Let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? He's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Well, I don't know about the theory being strong, I don't know why he's locking doors. That That's about it, that's the only question that we have at the moment. Shadow... Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Grayson and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Just some um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Grayson? Ah, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exit, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars the key. Except for you, me, and Amy. Right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Hmm. I mean, either one of these could be the truth. Either Shadow, you know, is actually responsible and wanted to keep us away, or Shadow couldn't find us because, again, we were in the closet. Let's go with the idea of innocent until proven guilty here. Shadow couldn't find us. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy. You and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. Telling arguments, but maybe. What, you're, you're telling us... Like, he couldn't have been looking for us, like, while, uh... The shelf was knocked over and we were stuck in a closet? Fine. Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Grayson. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that, it's my birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? I mean, it's part of the game, isn't it? Ah, uh, how dare. Grace, it shall be the evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. Why? What happens shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know. Didn't want to know that chili dogs were on the menu. <laughs> nah. Hmm. 
This is the only piece of evidence that feels relevant that I, you know, haven't shown yet. Feels right. to get so many more than the requirement on that one. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band ticket web band's ticket website. Tails don't. Ah, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's a band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is... My current favorite. All the members have B in there after their name? Yeah, see, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. Ah, oh, the computer. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation has become much clearer. I don't know how Tells figure things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band ticket. The Hot H Honey Band ticket website exists because... I, I mean, if it's a birthday present, I, I probably shouldn't spoil it, right? Shadow's a big Hot Honey fan. Leave. Now. I don't know what kind of music Shadow listens to, but it's obviously not this. So Shadow must be buying concert tickets as a birthday gift for Amy. Well, okay, I, I guess we're reeling it. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on to the website, did you print the home page by accident? How the... Yes, is exactly what happened. Not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this, after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow, the cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. It was probably off right there. I, I tried to keep it, like, a secret. Ah, uh, sorry, that's all a detective job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed a homepage. Concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert ticket? Precisely, I haven't prepared the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets. So I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them to not let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. A key op this key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door of these. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up to you, you can come with me. Uh... I, uh... I don't know if... Too late, it's happening! Yeah, I can't wait, the show of a lifetime! Yeah, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all. You need me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles stay intact. 
I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the Conductor Star. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Grayson, I hate to say it, but I believe in our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. Come on, to the conductor's car. I wonder what we'll find there. The conductor, I'm sure. Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor's car in a while. I hope he's alright. I can't believe a secret passage was here the whole this whole time. That would have been very useful. Yeah, the library is closest to the bathroom. It would have been really convenient. I see our priorities are different. We're ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. 